Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to review the Huion Mini Kidal KD100. So in an earlier video where I reviewed the Huion Kidal KD200 tablet, many of you said that the Kidal should be separated from the tablet. Well, here it is. The official retail price, $49.99 US dollars. Just to give you the condensed review, this is a keyboard shortcut remote with 18 buttons here and this dial here and all the buttons are customizable to specific keyboard shortcuts and all the shortcuts, they work well. The main thing you need to know is the keys here cannot be used in combination. So for example, if you want to select all, which is the shortcut control and a. So if you set Control here and you set A here, you cannot press Control A to select all. So you have to set Control A into a single button. Another example is you can set Control Alternate Spacebar here and with Photoshop, when you press Control Spacebar, it will zoom. But here, when you press these two buttons, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Hopefully, Huion can release an updated driver in the future to allow for proper use of combination keys. With combination keys, you can get access to even more shortcuts. So for example, with the current driver, you only get one shortcut with one key. However, if you can use combination keys um, using the earlier example of Control A, you can set Control here, that's one shortcut. You can set A here for the arrow key, that's another shortcut. And you can press both buttons to select all, that's three shortcuts rather than just two shortcuts. All right, back to the full review. So these are the items included in the box. We have the key dial, this is the charging cable, this is USB type A to USB type C. This will go to the key dial and this is the wireless receiver. This is USB type A. This is the KD100 mini key dial. The build quality, um, it's a bit plasticky but solid enough. So you can use this vertically like this or horizontally like this or like this if you want to. On the back we have four rubber feet. 18 buttons here and this dial with a button in the middle that allows you to switch functionality for the dial. The power button is here. The built-in battery can last for 100 hours. So if you work for eight hours a day continuously, it should last for at least 12 days. The keys, they have good feedback. The keys have low profile. Huion is using scissor switch mechanisms for these keys. Hopefully it's not of the same quality that Apple is using for their MacBooks and MacBook Pros from 2016 to 2019 or 20. And you can see the keys are curved very slightly. The key dial is smooth but not slippery. And this is the button to switch between the functions and the feedback is good. Personally, for me, I prefer to use a proper keyboard so that I have access to all the keyboard shortcuts. However, I can see how this key dial can be quite convenient. So for example, if you are using a Windows tablet and you don't want to use a keyboard for whatever reason, this key dial will let you have access to some keyboard shortcuts. Or if you are using a pen display or a drawing tablet that does not have any buttons on the side, or maybe it has some buttons on the side, having this will give you additional shortcuts on top of whatever shortcuts that you may or may not have on your tablet. This pen display, by the way, is the Huion Canvas 16 4K, which I have yet to review. All I can say is um, it performs really well, but it's also quite expensive. This is the Windows driver. The Mac driver has similar functionality. You can use the key dial together with another Huion pen display or graphics tablet. And if you want to change the settings, you just have to click here to select the device that you are using. So here I can see the key dial as well as this pen display. And here is where you can add programs like you can create specific shortcuts for specific programs you can create a set of shortcuts for adobe illustrator another set of shortcuts for photoshop and for any 3d modeling program that you want and you can save all the shortcuts 
just as a backup, just in case. Here you can change the brightness of the LED, this. There is no backlight for the buttons though. To customize the buttons or the doll, it's very easy. Just click on whatever you want to customize and enter your own keyboard shortcuts. So you can assign keyboard shortcuts, mouse clicks, you can have the buttons run programs, applications, or you can have multimedia controls as well, uh, like playing songs, changing the volume, all that. You can set the time for the key doll to go to sleep automatically. This will help save battery life. There's a little battery icon here to tell you how much battery life is left. The key doll can still be used while it's charging. So now I'm going to set all the keyboard shortcuts to the keys. I'm going to change this from Z to Control Z to undo because as mentioned earlier, you cannot use combination keys. You have to set the combination keys into the single button. The driver is available for Windows and Mac OS, so unfortunately, this cannot be used with iPads and Android tablets. And now let me show you how well the key doll works. So this button at the top left, this cannot be customized. This is basically to let you see all the keyboard shortcuts at a glance. So I have set Control N to this button to create a new file. Sorry about the noise in the background, it's my laptop fan that is spinning at full speed. So I have set this button to brush and this is erase. Let's undo, undo. So let me zoom in. I've set control alternate spacebar here. So let's try the combination key shortcut and it doesn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And now it works. Sometimes you have to hold down the buttons for much longer than you expect to get the keys to work. And now I want to zoom in, but I'm zooming back down. So combination keys, they just don't work that well. So if you want to zoom, I recommend you set Control plus and Control minus to the keys here. So that I can zoom in and out and set a space bar so that you can pan around. Let me zoom out. Control A, select all, Control X, cut, undo. Yep, so all the keyboard shortcuts, they work really well. When you press this button here, there will be this pop-up box that will let you switch the functionality for the dial. So I'm going to switch it to adjust brush size. Let's make the brush small and let's make the brush really thick. So the dial works really well. I like this keyboard. This is the Logitech K810, which has been discontinued. I like this because there is the control and alternate button here, which allows me to get all the keyboard shortcuts on the right side of this keyboard. Now there are certain keyboards or laptops that do not have those two buttons. So for example, if you want to control O to open a file, you have to use the control button here and O. And sometimes uh, it's a bit difficult to stretch your fingers to reach all the shortcuts on this side. So that's where this key down may be helpful. So if you want to assess combination key shortcuts here, you can actually set some of these shortcuts into the keys. So the Mini Keydal KD100 is available for purchase on Huion's website. The link to their web store is in the video description below. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.